In this lesson, we're going to look at panes, an important interface element in Houdini. Remember the three main views were all panes, scene view, parameter pane, network pane. You can expand those using this button here, uh, or collapse them using the same button. Now, each of these sections has multiple tabs, and you can click on the different tabs to look at your scene from different points of view. There's a tree view, for instance. There's some per, uh, materials, and there's back to the network view. You've got a menu at the top of each pane section, which lets you do things like tear off, maximize, minimize, and so on. And uh, so it's worth noting that. You've also got the plus sign here if you want to add a new pane. Uh, so you can add in, for instance, um, any from a whole long list uh, from here. So for instance, if we wanted to add a, a render scheduler, we could do that here. That's not one of the default ones that ship. We could also take it and say, well, it doesn't really belong here. Let's drag it over here and where the little arrow is, release. Um, and now we've got it up here instead. So that's a nice little feature, the ability to move these, these panes around. Now, if we um, just select our object, we've got the three main panes active now. Now, if we go to this little bar here, we can flip these two panes and flip them back using this. We can use the arrow to collapse uh, or expand uh, or collapse and expand. So you can really you know, explore your interface. If we flip this here, uh, we can then go and do things like take this bottom one and split it. So we can even add more interface elements uh, into here. And flip that again if we wanted to put it back. And now we've got uh, three on the one side instead of the two. We could then go with our desktops and save that desktop if we want this to be our new build desktop. Uh, we can also go to different desktops, like for instance, there's one called Technico, which has a certain layout uh, that you might find because it's got a little bit of Python there. Uh, you can also go to uh, a modeling one. And if you notice that in this one, the shelves are different up at the top and the radio button is different. So those can be stored with a desktop uh, to get exactly what you're looking for. If we go back to the build, you'll see that there are many uh, radio buttons and you can pick whichever one you want. So you can also go in and you know we could say I want to see an oceans one. That could be there. And then that could be stored with your desktop. Um, or we can go to main. Main is the one that ships uh, with Houdini. So if we go here you'll see that there are a number of options for saving. Um, saving all desktops. You also have a desktop manager that you can begin to explore. Uh, let you work with the ones that you've got and there you go. So now you've got an understanding how panes work uh, within the Houdini environment.